today we are here in Sydney, Australia, and I have a really special guest, Janice! <laughs> we have been YouTube friends for over a year, over, yeah. and we're finally meeting in person for the first time ever, mm -hmm. so it's really, really exciting. <laughs> I'm really excited too. <laughs> we are doing a boba video over on her channel, so mm -hmm. you definitely don't want to miss that. No. But today's video, we are doing a Taiwanese food tour. Yes because you guys know I love Taiwanese food. So do I. So anywhere I go, I'm looking for Taiwanese food yeah. and I have the perfect guest to join me. So That's yeah, cool. we're gonna go get some Taiwanese breakfast because you gotta start off a Taiwanese food tour with Taiwanese breakfast. Yes. So yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go. So we are at Mother Chew's and we ordered a variety of Taiwanese breakfast dishes and I'm already getting so excited because I miss Taiwan so much. We ordered the salty soybean milk which is a really really classic Taiwanese breakfast dish. We also got the egg pancake with yo tiao and yo tiao is the Chinese donut. And then we also got one of my favorite Taiwanese dishes ever, fan tuan, which is the sticky rice roll. I love that. I know. Should yeah. we just start with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I've been dreaming about this actually. I was really looking forward to this video because of this. <laughs> just because of this. We're starting off strong. <laughs> it's like awesome too because like you can just grab them on the street in Taiwan and just like eat it on the go, you know? Yeah. It's like the Taiwanese equivalent of like onigiris. Oh yeah, kinda, yeah, because I have like just, the, the rice and yeah. stuff, like wrapping the inside stuff and it's just like on the go snack. And you can grab and go, yeah. Yeah, and so like inside here we have yo tiao, pork floss, and some pickled vegetables, and we mm. also added a fried egg in there. Cheers! Mmm, so crunchy! Mmm! I can hear your crunch. Yeah, it's so crunchy! Mm. And this place actually did a really good job, because this one has like a really nice even layer of everything, which I really <clears> like. <throat> It's perfect. There's so many like different textures. Mm. I've never had it with egg before, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, this is the first time. The rice is sticky, but it's not too sticky. And it's like not too hard either. It's like soft. Is it an insult to call someone a fan tuan? Has someone called you? <laughs> I've never heard someone calling someone a fan tuan. Okay, maybe, maybe I made this up, but I thought it was like an insult to be like, oh, you're such a fan tuan. I've don't never worry. heard that. But if someone called me that, I wouldn't take it as an insult. It's like one of my favorite foods. <laughs> if someone called me a beef noodle soup, I'd be so happy. <laughs> I'd be like, well, thank you. Okay, maybe, maybe I made that up. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just rambling. So here we have the salty soybean milk. It's actually quite thick. And you see the soybean milk is like curdling. And then we also have the little chunks of yo tiao in there. And green onions as well. So get a bite with some of that curdled soybean milk and then some of the yo tiao. So let's try it. Okay. Mmm, wow. Mmm, it's quite nice. It's like a salty breakfast soup. I'm just trying to think of a descriptor word for this. I feel like there's not many things that taste like this. You know? No, even with the texture, because it's like soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really soft and like kind of silky. Like you don't need to chew it. And you also got that vinegar flavor. Oh, yes. In there as well. I love vinegar. Yeah, this is really good. I can't believe you never had it before. <clears throat> I can't believe it either. What the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> Okay, so we're moving on to the egg pancake. It's called a dan bing, which is literally just like, kind of like a green onion pancake-ish, but has like egg in it too. And then mm. it's wrapped around the yo tiao. So we have this with some sweet soy sauce. So you nice. just kind of like grab some and spread it on, or you can just kind of like dip just a little bit. You don't want too much on there. All right. Oh, I really like the sweet soy sauce. And the, the yo tiao is like not as crunchy because mm. this is the last thing we tried, but it's still really good. It is. I like how they wrapped an egg pancake around it. Yeah. I really like how the pancake's like a little bit chewy on the outside too. It adds like a different texture. But the egg is actually done really well. It's like fluffy and soft, and it mm. kind of like contrasts the, the oiliness of the yo chow inside too. That's really good. Mm -hmm. As in your, the way you described it. Oh, thank you. All right, so we're going to finish up our Taiwanese breakfast and then see you guys at the next spot. Okay, so we just stopped by our second stop of this Taiwanese food tour. Mm -hmm. And of course we had to stop by Hot Star Large Fried Chicken. They yes. actually have a lot of locations in Australia. Right? Yeah, in Sydney as well. In I Sydney. always see it everywhere. So um, this is like somewhere I always like to stop by whenever I'm in Taiwan for their really iconic, large, like as big as your head sized 
fried chicken. Oh, wow. Yeah, like look how big this is. <laughs> it's a chicken fillet and it's deep fried. I think they use chicken breast, but what makes it really, really good is the breast isn't too dry usually. It's like really juicy inside. Nice. And then it has a really nice uh, crispy battering on right. the outside. Yeah, and we got a mild today. Because yeah. um, Janice, Thank uh, you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, a little spicy and tolerant. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a bite. Oh do you want to do the honest? Yeah, sure. Wow, so crispy. Wow, yeah, it's like ASMR. <laughs> it's really juicy inside. and tender, you should try it. Mmm, it's really crispy. And the chicken, they, um, you know, they pound it really flat and then it stays it's so really juicy. juicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's good? Mm. I really like how the battering is, a, it's a little bit chewy too. Actually. It is, it's quite it's, thick. And then you get the really, really, really crispy part on the outside. Yeah, it's actually not too spicy. I like that. Like, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. But then I don't get impacted by stuff. it. Yeah. You know what I'm surprised? I'm surprised that it's not too oily. Your bag hasn't oiled up. That's actually really true. Which is yeah. what I'm really surprised about. Because yeah. I thought it was just a Yeah, oil, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. I don't know how they do that. It's really good. It reminds me of Taiwan. Uh, that's what good food is. It just brings you back good memories. I know, exactly. That's how you know it's good. Okay, so we just stopped by Machi Machi for these really cute boba drinks. This particular drink doesn't have boba, but panna cotta on the bottom. I'm really excited. But it's in this so cute bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I literally could stop talking about how cute it is. I'm really excited because they actually um, come from Taiwan, but I actually never got a chance to visit their Taiwan location. And I was so excited when I saw they have it in Australia now. So we're finally trying it. Yeah. So this here is the fresh strawberry latte with panna cotta. Mm. Um, and yeah, they say not to shake it. So we're gonna try the strawberry drink first, and then we're gonna put a straw in and then uh, try, try the, the panna, panna cotta. cotta. Mm. What does it smell like? What is it? It I smells smell so fresh. Like mm. Very like um, fragrant. It smells like strawberry milkshake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Okay, okay, go, go, go. Is it? Wow, it's very smooth. Almost like strawberry yogurt. It's like sweet though, too. Mmm. Mmm. It's good, right? Okay, I really like it. It's like strawberry yogurt, but a lot more smooth and, and less light. thick. Yeah, yeah, not as thick. Oh my god, it's really good. Okay, now I want to try the panna cotta. Oh yeah, you can definitely feel it in there. Oh, really? Mm hmm I can see it. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, let me try. Wow. Mmm, very creamy. I think yesterday we tried a panna cotta drink and then they just smeared it around the bottle mm. so I couldn't really taste it. Here you can actually taste like, I don't want to say clumps, that makes it sound weird. Yeah. I can taste like lumps <laughs> of panna cotta. Because <laughs> that sounds so much better. <laughs> I like the panna cotta. The panna cotta is really nice. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, it was really good. Yay. I really enjoyed that too. <laughs> Okay, so we're at our next stop, which is Cho Dumpling King, and they actually don't sell dumplings, but they sell a bunch of different <laughs> Taiwanese foods. Mm. So we got a variety of dishes here. We got the Lu Ro Fan, which is the braised pork over rice, and then also the beef noodle soup, of course. It's like iconic. She's then... the beef noodle ambassador. <laughs> Self-proclaimed. <laughs> and then also the Taiwanese sausage, which is usually served with raw garlic. That's like the traditional Taiwanese way to eat it, but this place they just added some green onions on the bottom to enjoy it with. Mm. Ooh, really thick pieces. All right, cheers. Mm. So flavorful. Mm. So fatty as well. Yeah, very fatty. Is it just me or is there a bit of like a smoky flavor to it? A little bit. A little bit smoky. It's like pretty sweet too. Dude, this is really good. Thank you for getting that. Yes, a Taiwanese sausage is always very good. Let's move on to the little pan. Dude, that's so good. She's not over it. <laughs> Okay, now we're moving on to the Luro fat. So they have this like pork gravy over it and it's just like glistening, like the fattiness of the pork belly. And they also have the pickled vegetable on top of it, like a pickled radish. Right, let's go for it. Cheers. Oh, wow, a lot of flavor. Kind of like a soy saucy flavor. Mm. Yeah. I taste a lot of the soy sauce. Pork, pork is quite soft. soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really soft, like the melts in your mouth kind of yeah. type of pork. Because it's like braised. It's really, really good. Oh, so fatty and so good. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, I love it. Next is the beef noodle soup, of course. They loaded it with noodles, and the beef looks very, very tender. Like some tender pieces of beef here with the fat. And then, of course, they have some bok choy, pickled vegetables, and some cilantro on top, too. Or as you guys call it, coriander. Coriander? <laughs> Do I sound hella American? <laughs> Is the soup important in this? Oh, very, very important. The How soup dare is I like ask? The most important part, oh arguably. Gosh. All right, let's test the broth. Test the broth. Oh wow, it's like light, not too greasy. You're saying everything that's going through my head. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like I, I couldn't think of a word to describe it, but you're right. It's yeah. very light and it's not greasy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like this soup. Yeah. I want to try some of the noodles too. Not too chewy. Yeah, it's not too chewy. It's a good texture actually. But you definitely get some of that flavor of the broth too. Yeah. When you're slurping the noodle. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna try the beef. Mmm. Mm, wow. Very tender. I can come here when I'm 100 because I don't need to, <laughs> to bite. <laughs> the beef is extremely tender. It's really tender. Honestly, really impressed. So much. Yeah. I can't believe I've never been to this restaurant before. Oh, really? Oh my god. Thank you. You're going to start coming in here yeah. all the time. This is amazing. Taiwanese comfort food at its finest, honestly. Yeah, I feel very comforted. Mm. Okay, so we're at our last stop for dessert, of course, and we got the signature taro balls from Meat Fresh. From Meat Fresh, yes, which is actually from Taiwan, but they also have many locations all around the world, I mm. believe. This is just a very like classic Taiwanese dessert. It's like a shaved ice with a bunch of toppings like taro balls, which mm -hmm. is, I guess, the star of the dish because they're really, really chewy. And then we have boba, red bean, and um, fresh taro chunks as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is going to be really, really refreshing. Cheers. So much texture. It's so cold. Mm -hmm. Which is actually really nice right now because we've been like sweating all day. <laughs> Even though it's like raining here, it's really, really hot still. It's really humid. Yeah, I love the chewy taro and sweet potato balls. Whoa, it's cold. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I like that it's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. And you got a lot of textures because the ice is like crunchy and then the boba's chewy and the tar balls are like chewy but not really like boba chewy they're like soft and chewy yeah they're yeah, soft and chewy and mm -hmm. then boba is like chewy and chewy <laughs> chewy and chewy <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect way to end the taiwanese food tour yeah i'm glad we ended on this mm -hmm. right and now it feels complete mm. yeah okay so we are really really stuffed with food right now we went to five whole different places yeah uh, for Crazy. taiwanese food yeah, yeah. We did. which yeah. one was your favorite um, I think it's probably the, the Taiwanese breakfast actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. What um, about you? The beef noodle soup. The oh, beef yeah. in the beef the noodle soup. The beef noodle soup was, was really, really good favorite. too. Yeah. So make sure you guys go check out our collab video on Janice's channel, which will be linked down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like this video. Turn on her bell. I turn on the ding, bell ding, ding. to get notified when I upload. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.